What's up guys, Pink Flame here, at you again with another video where today we had a video that was requested on how to make slime without glue. Um, I was going to make this video later on, but I guess uh, right now. So I found this recipe, it's not the best recipe for making slime, but it's still kind of fun to play with. Uh, you can't really stretch it because the main purpose of glue was kind of to like form the slime and to stretch it. So this one actually isn't that stretchy, unless of course you make that clay slime, which isn't that very, it's more like, you know, Play-Doh. Um, but today we're going to make, like, the salt and dish, uh, not the, the hand soap slime. So I'm using Dial today, it's kind of like that gel, kind of like, uh, hand soap thing. Let me zoom out a little bit so I have more space. So yeah, so try to stick closer to those gel kinds, like Dial. So we're just going to put a couple pumps in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have like eight pumps in there. Now, I have some salt here. But very, be very careful. And I say be very, very careful when you add salt. You want to add the very tiniest. Even the little tiniest will make an effect. But if you put way too much, even if you put like a, like a pinch of too much of salt, it'll make it way too watery. So... Look, I have a little bit. I'm not even going to add that much. This little sprinkle like that. That's already enough. There's only like three little grains of salt. And you want to grab your mixing tool. And you want to start mixing. And you're going to see those kind of start to clump up together. And that's exactly what you want. So, just keep adding just tiny by tiny little salt. Um, like, like each time so mix for like a good minute or so and then um add some more salt so i'll be back after about a minute okay guys so it's been about a minute and uh i added a little bit more salt and right now i'm gonna keep mixing until kind of get that not exactly it doesn't become slime right away because we still need to put it in the fridge and everything so i'm just gonna put one more pinch after i'm done mixing this one and then we should able be able to put it in the fridge. Actually, you know what? I think we're fine with this. So, yeah, let's just go head on over to the fridge. Also, guys, before we go to the fridge, I forgot to mention that when you're done... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of sick. Uh, when you're done, make sure, like, you take the touch test. So, like, just tap it really lightly. And it, if a little bit comes on your finger, that's okay. Um... But really, it shouldn't really stick to your fingers. See, like, I have a little bit right there. But usually with, like, the regular salt, but, like, a bunch would just come up. So just, like, lightly touch it. And if it kind of feels, like, jelly a little bit, but it's still sticking to your finger, it's all right. It's perfectly fine if it still sticks to your finger. So now let's go to the fridge. Put it in your bottom freezer thing because it's colder. If it's up here, it'll take longer. So just place it in here. The time should be on the screen for how long. So we'll just be back when it's ready. Guys, um, I had this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and it was kind of frozen, but I kind of let it melt the ice. <coughs> and, um, yeah, this is a slime. Uh, it's touchable, and it won't come off your finger. You can kind of play with it, kind of, but it'll still kind of, like, stick to you. Yeah, like, see that? Yeah. Yeah, you can hold it, but it's not very playful, but like I said... That's the reason we use glue when we make slime, is to make it stretchy and holdable. So, uh, yeah, unless you want me, you know, like, unless you want to make clay slime, which is basically just Play-Doh. But this is, this is what's going to be if you do not have glue. This, this is what the slime's going to look like. So, yeah. Goodbye, guys. See you in the next video. But guys, if you guys do want to make it more holdable, just add some baking soda and mix it in. And it should turn out kind of like the clay slime. It's not stretchy or anything. It's just something that you can play with. It just breaks. Well, if you do just want something to play with in your hand, you can just add some baking soda. And it'll kind of turn into this like, kind of like, like a Play-Doh kind of thing. You can like roll it, you know, like that and uh, fold it. Yeah. Bye, guys.